Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. I am super excited because I'm going to do another iris painting. You may have seen, um, I did a whole range of iris paintings, so iris uh, paintings to look like the iris of an eye. Um, I'm an optometrist and I've got a very, very good friend um, who is also an optometrist and it's her big birthday coming up. So I thought, <laughs> let's paint her something that actually is quite relevant. So an, uh, basically an eye painting, but in lovely girly colours, so pink some purples and, and gold um, sort of colours. It's going to be a swipe um, so I've added silicon to my paint and I'm just so excited because I loved doing my iris painting so um, let me show you what colours I'm going to use. So these are all the colours I'm using. There's actually quite a lot of colours here. Um, I'm going to use black because it's going to be an iris it needs a pupil so we've got a black colour. I've got Amsterdam bronze I've got Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Violet Blue and Silver. And then I've got four Montmartre colours. I'm going to use uh, white, Montmartre White for my swipe colour. I've got Montmartre Gold, but what I've actually done is lightened it a little bit. So it's actually a very pale gold. And I did that because I thought it would, it would be better to have some contrast with the bronze. Otherwise, the colours were just too similar. I've got Montmartre Pink. And this is the normal pink. And then I've added white to make a paler pink. And the same with this one here, the purple. Um, I've actually added a tiny bit of white here to, because this will dry, dry so dark if I don't add any white. And then just more white. So it's a really nice pale version. So to mix these paints, what I've done in this bottle here is my homemade pouring medium. And that is mixed two parts PVA glue to one part water. So I pour, pour, pour it all in the bottle, give it a really good shake. And then I've mixed these paints 50-50. So one part uh, pouring medium and one part paint. Um, and just to try and show you the consistency, it's reasonably thick. Maybe this one, you'll see it better. There's a little trace on the surface of the paint, but it doesn't last too long. I'm keen for it not to be too thick because when I've done swipes in the past, if they're too thick, um, the end painting ends up quite bumpy. So to have it thinner, it will smooth out a lot more. So you can see it's reasonably thick there. And the other addition to these paints, I've added um, two drops of this spot on treadmill silicon to each of the colours um, because that's what will, will create the cells with the swipe. Um, so, already, let's get started. So this is the canvas I'm using. It's a gallery wrapped canvas, which means it's got a nice deep edge. It's a 30 by 40 centimetre canvas. I've hammered in the push pins into the back, um, and then I've just put the spirit level over the top just to make sure that it's sitting um, level and flat and straight. Um, so, I'm ready to start. If you, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I've actually drawn um, a circle on there and a circle on there. I drew this one and didn't like it, so I'm going with this one. So to get the right size circle, you can use whatever you want. I've just used the bottom of this paint container. I've put it on, measured it either side to make sure it's in the center, and then just drawn around it with a pencil. So that's gonna be my black pupil. I'm going to put these paints on a little bit differently to when I've um, done these pores before. Um, when I've done them before, I've covered the whole canvas in a base and then the other colours on top. I'm not going to do that because I found that the paint was thinner here and here and then it was thicker here. So when it dried, this bit was a bit more bumpy and a bit more raised. So I decided to try something different. So instead, I'm going to put my black pupil down and then I'm going to layer some colours around in semicircles and then I'm going to fill the rest with black. So the idea is that it's all an even thickness, an even consistency, um, an even level of paint. Um, that's the theory. I don't know whether it, it will work. Um, so I don't know if I said the black paint here, this doesn't have um, silicon in and the white paint also doesn't have silicon in. So I might get a bit messy here, but I'm just going to start putting the colors on. So you can see how thick that is. I'm used to my Dutch pour consistency at the moment. So in comparison, this is very, very thick. So I think what will be easiest is just to use my finger just to spread that round.
Right, so I'm now going to put some of the paint on. Um, I'm using yoghurt pots here, which might be a mistake. I've run out of my silicon cups. Well, I haven't run out, they're just dirty and I haven't, haven't washed them yet. So I'm just trying to think the best way. They would be better with my silicon cups because they've got a little lip on them. But, um, right, let's just see how this goes. I'm just going to try and do it quite slowly so I can really keep control of the paint. Okay, yep, that wasn't too bad. Right, that's all the colours down, so I'm now going to fill the rest here with black. Right, the only bit I'm not happy with is this bit here, the um, iridescent pink and here actually, the iridescent pinky colour has actually um, sunk quite a bit. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I might regret this, but is just try and put a little bit of the pale pink over the top. Just to try and hide some of that black. It won't show because I'll be swiping over it obviously. But just to try and define the pupil a little bit more. Right now, the fun bit, the swiping bit. So I've got my white mixture here. So I've mixed the white in exactly the same way, but the white, because it's the swipe color, just needs to be a bit thinner. So I'm just adding a splash more water. And then I've got a little, um, about to do it that way, a plastic lid here. So I'm just gonna put some of the white in the plastic lid so it's just like acting like a little tray so to do my swipe I'm just going to use some kitchen roll that I've cut into pieces I've cut the pieces quite narrow because I want to do be able to do lots of swipes little swipes um, and what I'm going to do each time I've got a spray I'm just going to spray the piece of kitchen roll with water I don't want it oh this isn't working I don't want it soaking wet I want it damp because then it just makes it a bit heavier so where shall I start? I'll just start at the edge. Oh, white. So I'm just going to put the end, end of the kitchen roll there in the white. So I've got a little bit of paint there. And then I'm going to touch it on the pink. And then I'm just going to gently drag it through all the paint. And the good thing about using kitchen roll is it's quite disposable. I'm not worrying about cleaning anything. If I use a piece of plastic, I tend to wipe it each time and clean it, which is fine, but it's easier not to, isn't it? Oh, just drip my white, it doesn't matter. Right, again, onto the pink.
Right, I have finished swiping. I'm there, I'm done. Um, the colours so far are looking gorgeous. Obviously, I haven't torched yet, so this is going to change hugely from this point. Um, I just spent quite a while using just a paintbrush, the end of a paintbrush, and pulling some of the paint through because I really like the black here, but it was too black. So I've just pulled very delicately some of the paint through the black to give a really sort of wispy, um, wispy effect. I need to do something a little bit more with the pupil um, to get it more defined, but I might, I think I might just do that when it's dry. Um, oh, just one more. I'm not happy with. Right, so let's start torching. So I'm just going to torch quite high to start with. See what happens. I like cells, I like lots of cells. But I also want to be able to see the lines going through, the swipe lines. So I'm quite high up here at the moment. The torch, I can feel the heat, but the torch is quite high. I can see the air bubbles bursting. There's quite a lot of air bubbles. I only, paint, I only mix these paints half an hour before doing this, so they will be quite bubbly. But I think that's okay on a painting like this because it just it gives a, a cellia effect. The air bubbles just blend in with the cells. I'd say I have loved swiping. I haven't swiped for quite a while, several weeks, and um, really enjoy the swiping process. Right, I do not want to over torch, so I'm just going to leave that. It's beautiful, beautiful cells popping up here, gorgeous cells. So I'm just going to wait for this half maybe to catch up, may then do some more torching, but I think I'm just going to leave it just for, just leave it for a few minutes and see what happens. Because I can always torch more, I can always get more cells, but once they're there, I can't take them away. Um, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Right, it's now a few minutes later. Loving the cells this side, but there's less cells this side. So I was obviously extra cautious this side. Um, so I'm just going to do some more torching. I want more cells, so I'll keep going. Right, I really need to stop. <laughs> I can't stop myself. I really need to stop, otherwise I'm going to lose the lines. I am so happy with this. These colours are gorgeous. Really, really pleased with what I'm getting here. Right, I'm stopping. Let me get you in for a close up. I'm so excited. So here it is finished. I'm so, so happy. I'm so excited. Um, I haven't done an iris for ages and really happy with this. Um, when I was putting the colours down I was worried that they were a little bit too bright and a little bit too bold and that wasn't really what I wanted. I wanted more delicate, more feminine um, um, iris, um, seeing that this is a, for a female friend. Um, and yeah, so happy with these colours. I love that really dark band of pink through there. Um, the purple's quite subtle. Um, in fact, there isn't really, or well, there's a few purple cells over here, but actually the only real purple bits are where the swipes have missed through there, which I quite like actually, it just adds something, something extra. So off camera, I did a drizzle more pink around here, and then I've just very, um, why won't it focus? Very carefully, I've just pulled my a paintbrush through the end, so it has this really pretty um, sort of fanned out appearance around the edge. And the other thing that I've done off camera, um, well that's not the best to show you, let me show you this end. I have actually, I didn't know what to do with the edges. Um, the edges were just basically black with a few wispy bits. So what I've done is dripped the paint down the edge, down all the sides, all the colours, and then I very, very gently just swiped down just to blend them in a little bit. Um, the same there. And yeah, the same all the way around. And I really, really like it. I don't like plain edges. I don't like, I didn't want to just paint it black or one colour. So I think it almost makes it look like a bit of a cross section through the iris. Um, 
yeah but in, in, interesting to see how this dries but I just didn't want black I wanted the edge of the painting to be a feature as well seeing that it's a gallery wrapped painting gallery wrapped canvas the edges are much more obvious than if it's a thinner painting um, so I am really excited about this I can't wait to see what happens um, as it dries um, so I'll be back in a couple of days so here it is finished and dry. Um, I am so happy. I am. I just love this piece. I'm just It's just gone so well. I've done so many irises that I know bits that work, bits that don't work, and I'm really happy. I love the fact that it is all smooth. Um, as I said with my previous irises, I've had thick paint here and then thinner paint here, and you can see um, a gradient going down, whereas I just don't have that this time. Um, I'm really, really happy with the black. I wanted the black to show, but I didn't want it to be too overpowering. And then you've got the deep, deep black of the pupil, which, which I'm really happy with. Um, I'm really pleased with this, this pale pink section around the edge of the pupil. Um, that's something different from previous viruses. And then let me take you in to show you these gorgeous cells. They're so pretty. There's quite a lot of silver here so when this is varnished it's going to be really sparkly it's going to look lovely and I actually really like these bits where I've pulled the the paint through the center it's it just it's just so different I really like it so there you go silver and the magenta next to each other um, and the other thing that I I'm really pleased with is that you can still see the bands of color the circular bands of color around the edge uh, sorry, around the, the piece. Um, talking of edges, so I'm really happy with these. I love these edges. What I might do is get some black and paint in black there and there. So it looks, so this is a continuation, black and then over the edges. I think that's something I might do. But what interesting edges. In, the edges just so often get overlooked, I think. And they can't do on a gallery wrapped canvas because they are so, so important. Um, and then same with this edge so yeah I'm so happy so I really hope my friend likes it um, if she doesn't I'll keep it great thank you so much for watching um, let me know what you think what what works what what doesn't work what you like what you don't like um, I'd love to hear from you um, great thanks so much for watching everyone take care bye